Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, welcome. So, let's talk about Flick. Now, I was going to actually not talk about the game at all today. Um, I mentioned last time how my ears are kind of fucked up at the moment. And they still are, relatively, but they're actually pretty much better. Um, just at the moment, I've got pretty much a headache. So that's why I wasn't going to make a video. Um, but then the Flick news came out. And I'm like, okay, let's talk about this. Let's actually talk about this. Um... Because, look, this Flick discussion has been going on for weeks, 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 and weeks, right? We all have our own thoughts on this, but the thing that I quite like is, um, or dislike, I should rather say, um, is that this has been a topic in the news for weeks and months. And every time Flick was asked that question, he basically evaded it. And to me, that, that screamed, okay, he's leaving. He's just waiting for the right time. And, you know, the second we're out of the Champions League, he announced it to me. That was, you know, he, he knew that, he knew his decision a long time ago. Even if, you know, I don't know if he said anything about that. But, like, he knew his decision a long time ago. He just waited for this season to be over. I know it's not technically over, but he waited for the season to be over. Then when Los Mateos basically said that, you know, he heard a uh, contact, that he heard that band contacted um, Nagelsmann, I was like, okay, yeah. It's a done deal right now. Like, there's nothing about it that's, like, not a done deal. So, that was my thoughts right off the get-go. I basically expected, fully expected Flick to um, leave at the end of the season. Despite people saying that that was never going to happen. Brian was never going to let him go. I thought for, for sure that, you know, he is leaving. That's my honest take. Um... And now, he, today, he's confirmed it. Today, he's announced it. Today, he said, you know, outright that, yeah, I'm leaving at the end of the season. Oh, my wish is to leave at the end of the season. Of course, Bayern has to grant him that wish. The DFB has never actually paid for a uh, coach's um, release clause. Not a release clause, but they've never, they've never bought a coach out, a, you know, a manager, and they've never bought one out. They'll have to with Flick. FC Bayern would be stupid if they allowed Flick to go for free. That would be the worst... Not to quote the meme, but that, that would be the worst trade deal in the history of trade deals, all right? Because, look, you can get 10 million. It's clear as day that you don't want to go into debt, you know, regardless of this, if this is, um, you know, a COVID period or not, you don't want to go into debt. So, make some 10 million. I don't see any reason why you shouldn't. People will say, well, but Flick, what is this? No, 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 no. That's how business works. If that's how business works, right? The likes of Thiago, who, you know, won us, um, who helped us win a travel last season, uh, would have gone for free. Yeah, there's no freebies in football, right? There's no freebies in life. If you think that there are freebies, then clearly you've never been in a position of power. Um, power. But, you know, you, you've never made good trade deals, all right? That's all I'm going to say. Um... But here's the thing with Flick. Now, of course, the big question is who will replace him and why did he leave? Now, who will replace him? I think Nagelsmann is the clear choice. Honestly, I, I really do. Um, it's always been a clear choice for me. Uh, Lil Mateos also said that Bayern has contacted his camp. So, after me, it just screams, yeah, you know, it, it's got to be Nagelsmann. Um, here's the funny thing. Because I, I'm always, obviously, I've been like the person that's been championing that I don't think Flick is good enough. And for me, the reason has never been about, you know, our results. Results was, I always thought, you know, he's he, not, not just thought, he is the best that we've ever had in history in terms of just pure results. But the thing that I didn't like was his, uh, well, it was three things, really. Um, the first thing is his uh, bias towards certain players. We all know who we're talking about here. You know, certain players, even if they would play bad, would still be played. And today... I I ain't gonna judge him too harshly for today. How uh, you know keeping Musiala on, um, or, or not keeping Musiala on instead of Sane? I would have taken Sane off because Musiala was on a hat trick. You know I, I would have let him try and get that. That would have been me. That would have been my own decision. I know it's 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 not that tragic, but like at, you know especially at the beginning of the season when certain players were out of form, uh, he kept playing them over players that were in good form, um, and I thought that was disappointing to say the least. So that, that was my, my personal first issue with him. My second issue, well documented, was the defence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That defence, it was just atrocious. Like, like basically, when you're, when you're having negative records in terms of, or when you're making records in terms of, like, not, not, not keeping a clean sheet, that's when you know you're in trouble. That's when you know you're in trouble for me. Um, and then the third thing, it's kind of like an arbitrary thing, but, like, the rumours... 
it's not the biggest thing, but it is still a thing. And when there are rumors, when there is an unrest in the dressing room every single time, and you know, with when Flick is coming out and saying that the squad is not good enough, um, you know, he's saying that all oh, the signings that we made in the summer are not good enough. But I like, but, but I like Rocha and I like Sai. I like yo Chupa Moting. It's like, bro, who else are you talking about, right? If you're saying the signings are not good enough, and then like you know, you're slating the signings, and then the next sentence he's praising them. It's like, bro. You know exactly what you just did to those players, right? You you know exactly the kind of shade you just thrown at those players, and I don't like that personally. If I'm being completely honest here, like that. you know, if, even if you're unhappy with those signings, keep that internal. Don't bring that out into the news, and that's the big issue. Now, people will say, of course, that you know Brazo, um, the whole debate with him, so on and so forth. You know, uh, Salihamidzic always took everything out to the news, to the media, and I get that, but it's not like Flick hit anything. The, the, the only difference here is that, you know, Sally Hamish just went to the news directly and um, Flick just talked to the news whenever he was asked and he was like, oh yeah, yeah, this is happening, this is happening. It's like, bro, come on, you lot, behave like adults. But nope, that was not the case. So, I think both are at fault, for being completely honest. I know people, people are massively against Brazo because, you know, Flick is the one that got us the uh, trouble. Sex tuple, granted, I don't really care about the sex tuple, if I'm being completely honest. You know, the, the, the Super Cup is the Marco Roy's participation trophy. It's like, whatever. <laughs> like, honestly, it's whatever. The Club World Cup, okay, it's not that big of a deal. I know it's a lot big, it's a lot of a, it's a significantly bigger deal in, like, South America. Um, but, like, when I view that trophy, it's to me, it's just like, eh. <laughs> like, like, honestly, it's like, eh. It's a cool trophy to have. But, like, it's the same as the Audi Cup, in my opinion, right? It's a, it's a trophy to win. But if we had lost it, I would have been like, whatever. Now for me, again, the results in trophies and all that was never an issue with Flick, personally. It's always the most of the style of football, because the style of football wasn't that great, for me, completely honest. But that's, that's again, it doesn't really matter too much. That's just my own personal take here. Um, here's one thing that I will say, though. If, if keyword, if, if Nagelsmann is the uh, next person, or is, is the person to replace him... I don't think we're going to be as successful under Nagelsmann that we were under Flick. I don't think any manager can come in and be as successful as Flick. Some of you may be wondering, how, well, I mean, why would I want Flick... Why do I personally want Flick to leave? Because my managers work. My managers work, right? Um... You look at the most successful coach. I'm not saying people always people have this attitude with like my managers. They think if you're, you know, if you're a uh, my manager, that means that you you're not tactically savvy. But that's not the case, right? But like my managers have excelled in world football over the past, honestly, over the past. I would go as far as to say over the past decade. Um, I was just going to say over the past five years, but honestly, when you think about it, it's really the past decade. They've, they've excelled where, ta where the traditional tacticians haven't. Because man managers, they keep the squad fun. They keep the squad motivated. They, they don't really you know, do anything fancy. They, they essentially play the same style week in, week out. And because the squad is so used to it, and because then the squad is so motivated, they just excel. You know exactly who I'm talking about, right? First of all, you've got Real Madrid, right? If then you've got uh, Liverpool, and now you've got Bayern with Flick. People, people are gonna make the arguments, but they've changed it up, yes. But in general, they haven't. Man managers excel in football at the moment, and that's 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 not a, that's not a shade. That's not me throwing shade at them. That's me just saying, you know what? That's just kind of where football is going at the moment, and you know what? Fair enough. Um. And Nagelsmann, yes, he's a man manager. Granted, you know, sorry, he, he is a tactician. Uh, he has had some issues with players, but also a lot of players have really, really loved working with him. So like, he's he's still very young, still very malleable, if, if we're being completely honest. Um, but he's more so. On the, I'm gonna change my system five times, you know, five times a season kind of dude. Which makes it interesting and fascinating to observe, but it also means. Um, that he is against the grain at the moment. It, the grain of, oh, let's keep the same system, let's play the same way all season, with the exception of maybe one or two games. You know, that, that kind of grain that like has really been prominent in world football as of, you know, as of the last decade. Um, is Flick going to be able to leave? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. That's the best way I can say it. He wants to leave. Okay, cool. Is he going to be allowed to? Well... That depends on the DFB. Are they going to pay that money? Well, 
We'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We will see, ladies and gentlemen. My thoughts on this story is that ultimately, I saw this coming. I'm not. Too, I'm not here to just like tell my own horn or anything, but I saw this coming. I think most of us did see this coming. I think once the rumors, you know, went strong for months and months, um, and there was no like definitive. You know, you, 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 look, you look at Jurgen Klopp, right? When um, Jurgen Löw announced that he was leaving the German national team, Jurgen Klopp immediately came out and said, "I'm not. I'm, I, there. I, there is a hundred percent chance that I'm not leaving." Flick, whenever he was asked, was like, ah, I've got a contract at Bayern. I've got a contract at Bayern. The DFP, the DFP, coaching the national team is, of course, such a fantastic job, but I've got a contract at Bayern. That was basically always his answer, so I was like, okay, nah, this guy clearly wants to go. And I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I, I would love him to coach the national team, if I'm being completely honest. Um... I'm not going to get to the national team. This is a Bayern channel, right? This is a Bayern channel, but I'm not going to get so I'm not going to get to the national team. But I will say this. Finally, the fraud is going to be gone. Joachim Löw. That's what I'm talking about. And finally, the German national team is going to have a good manager. A great manager, in fact. Don't take that away from Flick. He's a great, amazing manager. Um, I might not I might not like certain things of him, but that doesn't change the fact that he's an amazing manager. Um, so if he, you know, it's not the it's not the end of the season yet, and we don't know what the club will say, how the club will respond to that request. But if it is the end of the Flick era at Bayern, I just want to say thank you very much for the successful era, and um, yeah, good luck in whatever future endeavor you uh, you go on. My thought do is. I'm intrigued to see who comes in next. I really am. But let me know what you all think, ladies and gentlemen. I will see all of you in the next one, everyone. Until then, have a nice day. Peace out. And as always, bye.